Hello children, today this is going to read you a book it's called Don't Give Up. So it's written by Julia Gershopi and illustrated by Joanne Bautista, Joanne Oliver. Don't Give Up. Let's start by blowing bubbles, Mrs. Smith said. Put your faces in the water. The water is too cold, I said. And it smells weird. Watch me do it, said Mrs. Smith. Then you try, Lisa. When I tried, water went up my nose. Help! I yelled. When we got home, I said, I'm done with swimming. The first lesson is always hard, said Mum. You have to learn, said my brother Stephen, or you will miss out on the fun this summer. Oh, so they're going somewhere this summer. So they need Lisa to know how to swim. Okay, I said, I won't give up yet. At the next lesson, we tried kicking our legs. I kept sinking, I said. She's not able to float. Move your legs like scissors, said Mrs. Smith. I started to make a splash. Still want to quit? Stephen teased me that night. No, I said. I'm not a quitter. Wow, I like how she persevered, right? She told her brother, no, I won't give up. I'll keep on trying. Today, we're going to push off the wall, said Mrs. Smith. What if I sink? I asked. I will be right here, she told me. So Mrs. Smith told Lisa, don't worry, I will always be here. I didn't want to miss any summer fun. So I took a deep breath and pushed back. I did it, I yelled. That was great, said Mrs. Smith. Guess what, Stephen? I said, I'll be swimming by summer. And D and sing this story tells you about the little girl Lisa who is learning how to swim. And did she give up on her swimming lesson? No, she keep on trying because she wants to enjoy the summer fun, right? Now. Tell me one thing that is difficult for you to do or something that you want to do but you are not able to achieve it yet. So you may want to draw what you want to do. For example, if you want, if you want to learn how to swim, you can draw yourself swimming. And what are the things that you will do so that you don't give up? Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed the story. Bye-bye.